Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's the first day of my trip back to Sweden and I have no idea where I ended up right now. I'm in some kind of resort. It's huge, you have so many small buildings for like people who want to stay in there. Then you have this huge building to my right. It looks so crazy in there, like I was looking for a toilet. Luckily I found one now, but it's just crazy how big this building is. You have like bowling, swimming pool, huge area for restaurants. Yeah, and I, I was just like driving to the supercharger. So, uh, well, well, but because I have my phone with me, I will skip to the camera back in the car. Okay, the first charging stop is already finished. I am again making this quick. The charging is faster than I am. So I came back to the car, it was already at 70%. I have now checked the next charger is at Denmark so something close after the border from Germany to Denmark and then yeah we will see I hope I will not be too late in Sweden that is my goal for this trip because I still have to find a camping spot and if it's late you know it's always a bit more a pain in the ass in my opinion you want to get some sleep you want to feel comfortable I will show you all my setup either tonight or tomorrow but you can already see right there I have a cooling thing running the whole time because I have some medication with me and other things but more on that on the next stop or wherever Ah, traffic jams everywhere leave me alone let me go out of this Germany country thing and let me go to Denmark. Why? Why are there traffic jams everywhere? I have already like one hour of delay due to the traffic jam. I'm going to be in Denmark, I don't know, 4.30. And then we will see. Oh, that's the beginning of Denmark. You know, I want to go to Sweden today because in Denmark, camping somewhere is first of all very illegal and second of all if you make it to Copenhagen it's a it's the capital so there is not a chance to just say like oh yeah I'm going to camp here there is no space for camping oh so it's going to be a long day I already know that right now okay guys status update now in Denmark it is close to 5 p.m. I have just crossed the, the border like 10 minutes ago. I'm at a supercharger right now, which is very packed, so I cannot really charge very fast. So my goal now is to basically just charge so much that I can go to a different charger with a bit, yeah, higher um, capacity and where I hope that it's not that much. So I will only, yeah, do like a fast charge now. Go to the McDonald's where I back then um, fixed my internet connection when I was going to Denmark. So when I'm there, use the bathroom then I come back maybe I finish one of my bread rolls and in the end yeah continue driving because I can already see that the first charger in Sweden is 9 p.m. and I still have to find a camping spot and then we will see how it goes but I'll be back okay guys status update I am now close to the first bridge to the first island of Denmark which is not the one where Copenhagen on is on so it is the first of two and then Sweden and I am supposed to drive three hours now to the supercharger in Sweden which is close to Landskrona and I have now searched the spot where I think I'm going to camp it is not the best but I cannot I definitely don't expect to drive further than that so the camp spot now is again at a wind farm but it is unfortunately because it's still southern Sweden no forest so maybe a few trees and then I just hope that I can sleep there because I really cannot drive further than that today so it's going to be probably at 10 that I will be there trying to sleep I also have a headache I just guess I didn't drink enough water today but I just had some burgers from McDonald's right there I also used their bathroom that was at least something good so now the car has 91% I think it's time to drive to the last supercharger of the day, fill up the car and then hopefully my spot that I chose at the windmill is not only okay to sleep, but also not too far away. Okay guys, I know you cannot see me, but there's the campfire. 
I have found a camp spot and I will definitely talk to you in the morning. My head is really, really hurting. So I'm now sleeping. I hope this spot is fine, but I think it is. I'm cozy in the position in here with all the packaging, but you will see that in a few seconds. Good night. Good morning world. I have survived the night in my coffin, how I could say, because of all the stuff that I have next to me. I don't know if you can really see it. Right now I'm using my phone camera. So that's probably the reason why it's a bit grainy right now. But I will grab my camera when I go outside to show you the other perspective. But right here I have yeah, a lot of boxes and suitcase and other things. So basically my only space that I have is one back seat from the width. And then, yeah, just like straight in there. Yesterday when I was getting in here, I already thought like, what if I cannot get out here tomorrow because of like my disease making it difficult for me to get out. Now I feel like, yeah, it should be fine. I feel that my headache is still kind of here, like right there, but maybe it disappears because sometimes, you know, like it is still there in the morning, but when you take a walk, it disappears. It's not as strong as yesterday evening. And besides that, how did I sleep? I have to say it was not bad, to be honest. Like, of course, I was not sleeping fully through when I went to bed. I was like taking a lot of time to get ready to sleep, even though I was really tired. It's now 6 a.m. So I will not take too much time and then we will drive. I have checked. Google Maps is telling me it's still like 12 hours from here. Plus charging, it of course adds up and I will not take the Stockholm route again. I will go through inland, let's say 13, 14 hours. But for now, let's get out of here. And this is the area where I parked the car, more specifically next to a road through the forest or a path through the forest. I had the goal to drive to a windmill, like a wind farm, I told you before. But when I drove there, there were cars parked and I was like, I don't want to just park next to them because either there are already people camping, which I don't really feel comfortable if you don't know them. And second of all, maybe that's cars for people working there. So it was for me like not the obvious choice. And then second of all, it was on a field at the windmill. So you could definitely see the car if I would have parked there. Now I found this yeah, spot in the forest. So first of all, it is not visible from the outside unless you decide to drive through here. And when you drive through here, you will have to take the entrance there, which is like one kilometer from here. And I was actually lucky to find this because after the windmill, I was like struggling. I tried a different one. There was a gate in front of the path. Then I tried a different one and there was a gate to the path. However, there was a second entry and that is the one that I took where the gate was opened. So now we also still have to figure out, is the gate still open when I go outside? But yeah, so I was driving through here. I actually found already a good spot very close to both of these entrances where I said like, okay, that could be a good spot. But then I continued and I was like, why did I continue? Why did I continue? I have no space to turn around. Then I found this spot where I really thought like, maybe I just drive in here, you know, like there's a lot of somewhat straight area and I actually liked it but because it was so dark yesterday you couldn't see anything and I was like if I now miss a rock or if I now miss some other uneven surface I don't want to scratch the battery or whatever so I just decided okay let's just put it somewhat next to it right like I did so that if a car is coming and is allowing me to stay that it just drives through should probably be, I don't know, the owner or someone who is working in the forest. It was the best decision to just stay here and say like, no, I'm not continuing. I also drove further back there. So I don't know if you can see it, but if you go straight, there was also a nice spot where you could have camped, but the road continues further on. And I was like, no, I don't want to drive the whole way because I liked this spot already. Yeah, really much to be honest. Okay, and now my daily morning routine, pee, brush your teeth, and then we continue. Let's see how long we're gonna take. 
for today. And one thing, sorry, I nearly forgot. How did I sleep? Well, you haven't even seen anything, right? So that is the car set. Down there you see a lot of stuff, but the important part for sleeping, of course, pillow, small pillow, air mattress, and then the blanket. And on the other side you can, can you see it? It's so dark in there. But there are so many different things that I just carry with me. And it was interesting to, of course, pack everything, that everything is going to work, but it worked out. And also from the back area here, that's the lower end. So you can really see like I just slept laying in here and I really thought like, what if I get stuck? But for now I will just keep it like that. I think that box is going to fall on there anyways. So why don't I just already put it there? There we go. It already fell yesterday. Same with that folder. Good. And then we have packed this. Also in the space under the normal trunk, like down there, there's another suitcase, <laughs> but that is really great packing. At front, I have my cooling box. And now the thing is, I have not kept it on during the night because it was so loud. And I know about my medication that I can keep them uncooled for a certain time. I will now turn it back on and we will just see what happens. You know, like I think the medication will survive. Let's see how cool it is when I will grab things when I'm at the next charger. But now enough said, I wanna get going. So talk to you at the charger. Okay guys, I am now at the first supercharger. I have already eaten a bread roll with cheese. I was also thinking about eating an apple, but I just am not hungry enough yet. But there will be another supercharger in two hours where I will be eating the apple. I also only charge there for like five minutes. So it will be really like a short eating and then I continue my drive to Arboga and from there, what is, no, wait, now he is doing other things. Maybe I'm driving further. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, no, no, the car has just planned more because I'm still charging and I could drive further, but we will see. So the plan is now driving two hours, then I, yeah, eat my apple and then we will see how long it's going to take tonight till I arrive at home. Right now it says it's going to be before 8 p.m. That would be good. And even if not, it's not too bad. Luckily, I feel that my headache is, is slowly disappearing. So that is a good thing. Now I will start driving and I will talk to you guys later. Let's go. <sighs> okay, guys, I made it to the next supercharger. This supercharger is now the one that on the way to Germany was totally filled. Back there is the McDonald's and I was going here, eating there. It was raining. It was really not the best feeling last week. But now I have to say it's pretty empty. I'm the only one here at this charger. By the way, one thing that I totally forgot to talk about this morning with the camping is that tonight I used 10%. So I arrived like at, with 82% at the camp spot. And I, when I checked on my phone, it was 72. When I then went in the car and after like brushing my teeth and so on, it was 71%. So 10 to 11% was used this night. And in the last trip video, so also the one when I went to Germany, I said that this car uses more percent while camping. But of course, I totally forgot that the battery is smaller. So 1% is more than in the long range battery. So maybe it's not even much difference. Maybe it's the same thing. Just the percentage is of course higher due to a smaller battery. But now enough said, I want to eat. I want to continue driving. Okay, guys, I have now arrived at the V4 supercharger in Westeros. I am only here to actually charge a few minutes where I have started eating something and then I watched a YouTube video and now the car's again already at 80% and I'm driving two and a half hours to the next supercharger and then maybe one last one or maybe maybe not wait let's see if I remove this supercharger can I make it to Sundsvall because the goal that I have is that in Sundsvall I could buy something at the grocery store before I arrive at home and I think that would make most sense but it's also like four and a half hours of driving so maybe I will make a short plug in 
in Söderham, like the car is planning, but only like really five minutes that I can make it to a Sundsvall. And in Sundsvall, I charge the car fully till I can then drive easily the last hour to Örnsjönsvík, where my home is. But now it's really hot outside, 25 degrees. I, am, I thought I'm leaving Germany for good with lower temperatures and now we have 25 degrees. Holy moly. I'm talking to you at either Söderham or the latest at Sundsvall. Okay guys, I am now at the last charger of the trip back to Sweden and here I am in Sundsvall again where the trip to Germany also started at the V4 superchargers and I have already over 90% battery so I'm only basically now yeah, just waiting a bit longer so that I have enough charge for the future but the car is definitely already taking a lot of flies whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately I hear that I have a glass chip, but also look at this, like, oh. But I don't know, I cannot see the chip right now. But I definitely hear something. Before I go to Norway, I have to, yeah, clean the car. It looks really, really bad in my opinion. So you can see that was definitely a massacre. The car is so dirty. I have to look if I can find a cool spot to clean the car or maybe I do it at home with the water, just to rinse it up. I like to clean the car by hand because I hear that the paint is not supposed to be the best if you go into a normal yeah, car wash. So we will see how that goes. But now I am driving one hour and 45 minutes and then I am in Örnsjöldsvík and then the trip is over. So there's no way, still no idea how I'm going to manage that. But Enough said, wish me luck on the last 150 kilometers and then I will talk to you in a different video. So I hope you had a wonderful day. Bye bye.